Hey guys, this week on My Drug Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to do your hair in a more reasonable way. Give <laughs> one second. Hey guys, this week on My Drug Kitchen, I'm gonna show you guys how to be grilling and chilling even when you don't have a big fancy grill. That's okay. You don't need fancy things to be a fancy lady. So uh, we've got a tiny baby grill and I'm gonna set it up right now. Earlier today when we decided to have a cookout, Elle and I went over to Ralph's. We got some private selection goodies. And now we're gonna make actually anything we want because one of the best parts about grilling and chilling is that the world's your oyster. The grill of it all, more like the thrill of it all. Let's go touch raw meat. Some really great meat cutting, babe. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Also, I'm drinking mezcal because we're having a smoky kind of day. Ah, another really great tip about grilling and chilling, which I actually have no idea how I learned this. I really don't. I don't remember learning it. I just know it. So have I always known it? Or did I just forget where I learned it? That's not a deep question, but it is one I just asked. <laughs> oh. So another great part of grilling and chilling is I get to share with you guys some information and some handy dandy tips. For instance, did you know one of the best ways to clean your grill is by using a raw onion? So once you have it nice and hot, just scrape your onion along the top and it'll clean your grill better than not cleaning it at all. Yeah, that's really good and true. It's also nice because it kind of seasons the grill. I just decided to. Now that our meat is cut into beautiful, really, really great pieces, we're gonna, you're welcome. We're gonna season it one of two ways. I'm gonna show you guys how to marinate it using a sauce and how to season it using a rub, okay? Okay, so um, I have to wait because I'm not gonna hold my camera while touching raw meat. First up, hello. First up, we're gonna be using the Private Selection Kentucky Bourbon, available at Ralph's, uh, to season our meat marinade for those of us who prefer a little sauce in our sauce. Getting sauced? Who the boss? Tony Danza. Do you even know who Tony Danza is? You don't. <laughs> no. no, don't say that. We have a four-year age gap. I don't. Oh my goodness. I don't. Tony Danza looking. <laughs> what? That's so confusing. Okay, do you feel like having cracked peppercorn or green chili ranch? Hmm. hmm. I want. I think cracked crack, crack peppercorn. <laughs> now this is a seasoning rub, so normally you would want to rub it down your whole giant chunk of meat, but I like to use it on the skewers because I frankly really enjoy everything bite size. As does lady who is just eating cardboard. In the corner. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, private selection cracked peppercorn. Work it, girl. Smell this, you gotta smell this. Okay. No, you, Ella. The camera can't smell it. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells really good, right? Yeah. Mmm, I love cracked peppercorn. And you can actually tell there's bits and chunks of roasted garlic in there, too. I'm salivating. Okay, let's. Get these on some skewers and get grilled! You think this is hot enough? This is not a good way to test. We're gonna take our first meat skewer and grill. And grill. Ooh, tiny little briefcase or very powerful tiny grill. You don't need grass or a grill or anything like that. Uh oh. Hmm, in observing my tiny grill, I think it will not work without a cover. But I will not despair, for this is truly grilling and chilling. So I will be chill about not having a cover and this very, very slow cooked chicken, which for sure will be very good. Instead, I shall make a tiny tinfoil tent and hope for the best. I feel very brave and smart. Great idea, boss. Sizzling. Oh, 
<laughs> okay? Okay. Wow. So now that the most important and very cool job is done, i.e. making the skewers, I'm just gonna grill up the last of our meat while Ella does whatever it is she's doing in the kitchen. What you got there? A salad. Ha! A salad. Yeah, that's cute. Classic woman of the house. <laughs> this salad looks pretty baller. Uh, my job mostly involved timing and sitting. But I made the meat. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. The grill of it all! After a discussion of the equal dispersal of labor, we're gonna add our deliciously grilled chicken and blah, blah, blah. And last but not least, the private selection pink Himalayan sea salt. Ooh, a little bit of extra salt on that salad dough. Mmm, yum. Bon appetito, my love. Oh wait, actually, wait. How is it, my love? Mm. It's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. You know, no stress. It was truly a grill and chill, right? Oh, see, the cracked pepper with mm -hmm. that little garlic mm -hmm. and stuff? That's oh, perfect. Can I yeah, go for it. It's sweeter, it's like the, mm. I know. Well, your backyard grill out might not look exactly as you expected. You might not have the fanciest barbecue, though, for the record, Ella, I really hope to one day have a very fancy barbecue. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And you might not even have any real grass. But we live in California, so like, we're for the environment. yeah, we're probably not gonna ever have grass. All that being said, as long as your grill out and chill out is all for you, then that's exactly as it should be. Also, it's really fun to just grill for two people, not like in a big thing. You know, though hosting is the best. Yeah. Oh, and there was that one time I grilled watermelon, right? If you guys want me to show you how to grow watermelon steak, go ahead and click like and comment and say like, yeah, Hannah, duh, we want to see that. Um, if not, no worries. Have a great summer. Summer's halfway over. I, for one, will be sad to see it go. Though it's still not yet the hottest months of our summer, which are August through October, so... Stay tuned. Let's see if my thoughts and feelings change on the subject. <laughs> Have a great day. Mwah.